Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at a beer that I have never had so many requests for in a long time. This, my friend, is from Noda Brewing out of North Carolina. This is their Hop Drop and Roll, coming in at 7.2%. It's an India Pale Ale that just won the very, very coveted Best IPA. They got the gold medal at the 2014 World Beer Cup. They got it for this beer. I think they beat out something like 230 other beers. It's one of those categories that can really just set your brewery off in the right direction. I think that is going to do that for them. I got to give a big thanks to John for hooking me up with this. He really, really wanted me to review this beer, so he sent two cans over. I can't wait to have this one. I've heard great things about it. You guys are telling me I need to have it. So without further ado, let me get into a glass so that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the Noda Hop, Drop, and Roll. All right, guys, see so the aroma on the Hop, Drop, and Roll. Oh man, wow. I think they said they use, yeah, in this one they're using Citra Amarillo, Centennial Warrior and Chinook in 10 separate editions and you get that big time. You get a citrus flavor, you get grapefruit, you get pine, you get a big dankness to it. But I'm also getting a big kind of toasty, bready maltiness to kind of balance everything out. An absolutely epic smelling beer, wow. All right guys, so the taste on the Noda, hop, drop and roll. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Right at the front of the tongue, big hop bitterness, grapefruit, pine needle, a little bit of an orange juicy sweetness in there. Middle of the mouth though, this beer becomes its own for sure. Big malt backbone, and it's very, I wanna say English. There's a toasty, a malty, sweet kind of toastiness to it, almost nutty, um, that plays off the hops, plays up, plays up the hops really nicely. Middle of the mouth, you start to get more of the tropical vibe from that citron amarillo, a little bit of orange uh, rind in there. Really dry aftertaste in the aftertaste. Again, more of that pine, west coast kind of, um, citrusy, grapefruit, grapefruit juice, but there's kind of an underlying note of tropical fruit as well as that malt backbone, that, that bready kind of dry malt backbone that really kind of brings the hops to the next level, 7.2%. Very, very drinkable, very refreshing. This one is going down almost too easily. A really, really nice IPA, awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Noda, Hop, Drop, and Roll, 7.2% available year-round from them. And I got to give a big thanks again to John for hooking me up with this one. Guys, this one is getting an A. This beer has the one thing that I think a lot of people look for in an IPA, and that is balance. It's got big hoppiness. It's got a big malt backbone, and in the end, they complement each other and just come together to form this you know, symphony of what a great IPA should be. Big citrus flavors, big kind of breadiness to help cut some of the bitterness, and it just works. It's an awesome beer. You know, this is the beer that really started for them, and I think this is the beer that's going to take them to the next level. So awesome, awesome beer, guys. Thank you so much again for watching, getting an A for me, and remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers. <laughs>